Hey guys, just finished watching Cloak and Dagger, Season 2, Episode 10, Level Up. Um, this was an interesting season. I really kind of uh, like this season. Um, you know, it was uh, a really kind of a, a fun season dealing with the different things and stuff, but I'd like to see them go a little bit more deeper into the comic book realm of this and kind of giving a bigger budget to this, to this show a little bit. Just kind of play with the kind of uh, comic bookness and other characters and kind of seeing the different things going uh, going on. And I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see as to kind of where the ending of this show leads into it uh, type thing. And I think it's going to be quite cool to see as to where things go. Um, this show has not been picked up according to uh, uh, some of the sites online so far. It has not been uh, picked up or renewed for another season. So I think that's going to be interesting to see as to where things kind of go with this, especially with um, the ending of this show. But I'll get into that at the end of this video. So we start off this episode with picking up right up from the last episode where people um, come are disappearing and they end up in the kind of the nightclub where Andre Duchesne is kind of performing and stuff. Um, and they're all kind of like, yeah, they're not they're all kind of like motionless and like, you know, empty inside type thing. And they're not really kind of doing anything, just kind of standing there watching in, uh, in a trance, I guess. Um, we see that, uh, you see, you know, it's a place kind of like, like full of despair type thing. Um, so that's kind of interesting. They end up going, uh, they end up going there at the beginning of the episode and then O'Reilly kind of stays back and, uh, she's there to fight these kind of shadow people and to help protect like the candle that Tyrone's ex-girlfriend is doing to help so they can go through the portal. He can go through the portal with them, with Candy and stuff. And I think that was really interesting. And it was cool seeing, uh, O'Reilly fight these kind of shadow things and stuff. At first, they look kind of cool. They're just like black figures that were made out of like the smoke or whatever that um, Tyrone makes that are makes that makes his portals and stuff. And that looked cool. And then at the end, and then they turned to uh, to like just guys in like full right full right gear type thing and like SWAT gear, gear. And I was just like, oh, look kind of cheap. Whereas it would have been really cool to just see them to see if they just put guys in like black <laughs> black unitards and have her fight that and then CGI like the smoke out of them and make them have them be made out of smoke type thing and she just kind of keeps these kind of all black figures with non uh, you know no kind of shape to them really just looking like silhouettes um, I think that would have been would have made would have looked a lot more cool than just kind of guys in black uh, you know and just kind of riot gear and stuff and made to look like um, you know SWAT type things that was just kind of a bit kind of boring uh, there seeing those fights when it was just her fighting the, the kind of the guys in the helmets and all that stuff and then when they turned out to be Fuchs stuff that could, was cool and stuff um, you could have still done that with them being made out of guys just kind of made out of the, the smoke and stuff that Tyrone uh, creates and stuff that could have been cool but oh well or maybe a mix of the two maybe some, some black and white ones you know some grey ones type things since Tenny and him are inside of the portal right that could be cool too um, we see them fight uh, their inner demons and then they decide to kind of switch and fight each other's inner demons but that doesn't work and they end up defeating their own demons later on so that was really cool and then we see Tandy she ends up making a goddamn sword out of her out of her her powers and stuff and her daggers and I think that was so cool I was been excited to see this and see more uses of these things you know I mean why isn't she you know used like and we've seen her in this season a lot more than last season. In last, the first season, we know it was on like only one dagger the whole time. It's like they made one dagger for the set and the, for a production, and never really made another one. Um, and this season, we got to see a bunch of different daggers. They made the sword and stuff, and that's really cool. Um, and I definitely think it, it, it looks like a cool sword to, to, to own and stuff. But it definitely is going to be interesting to see as to kind of um, where things go with her powers. I think it's going to be cool. Like I said, we saw her use make a little, a couple of different little. Uh, st uh, different size daggers throughout this season but i like to see them using them in a different way you know i'd like to see her maybe at one point she needs to you know um she needs to pick a lock type thing she makes some that are super thin and tiny so she could pick a lock with it you know uh or just you know put it into a lock breaking a lock from the inside you know and destroying the lock without actually kind of making the lock look like it was the door was just gonna cut in you know she could sneak secretly break into it without kind of uh, actually kind of destroying down the door i think that could be something interesting like that um, being more precise with their powers and stuff could be something fun uh to play with so we see tandy uh yeah we saw her make a sword um we see tyrone uh it's no longer we find out that tyrone in the episode with tyrone no longer wanted and stuff um they end up doing getting him off the criminal charges and stuff um and then we see that connor's we see uh i mean we see that uh o'reilly leaves connor's body hanging for the police and that was just kind of confused because we know that Tyrone's mother was the one who killed, uh, killed him and stuff. So it's like, how, 
I don't know, how, how are they going to make sure that that doesn't come tracking back to Riley, to, uh, you know, Adina Johnson, you know, or uh, Tyrone's mother? Um, it just seems a bit kind of weird when you know, Tyrone could just leave the body inside of him type thing and then no one would ever find the body and then or inside that dimension where they let where they had everything and they just leave the body there um or bury it somewhere there uh that would just kind of make sense and then just kind of leave at least just leave his body so that no one has to go to jail for it you know uh, but we'll just have to wait and see as to where things go maybe they try and pin it on that uh his uncle or something like that somehow uh, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, just kind of seems a bit like a bit of a loose end to kind of leave there to just drop it off at the police station like that. Um, so we see uh, then we end the episode with the two of them on a bus, leaving away, becoming runaways, and I think that is pretty awesome. They don't really call themselves runaways; they don't say the word runaways. But if you watch the runaways and you know the runaways, they do become part of the runaways in the comics, and I think this is a perfect opportunity for them to to, to play with that. So. Um, we see that Tandy ends up leaving her mother. She says goodbye and all that stuff. But we don't see Tyrone leaving his, with his parents. He cleans up at the, he packs up at the church and stuff. Leaves a note for her father and stuff. Uh, but he, we don't see him going to see his parents saying, "Hey, I'm taking off. Peace out." Uh, we don't see anything of that. So I guess he might be a runaway. Um, but whereas Tandy is not really running away. She's like saying she told she's kind of going away. So not really kind of running away, but. Whatever, I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see as to where things go with this. And I like the ending for this show. In case this show doesn't get another season, um, I think it could be quite interesting to take this show and just kind of, if it doesn't get another season, oh well, take these two characters and put them in the Runaways show. I think that could be perfect. Not sure if Runaways has been uh, uh, renewed for a third season, but uh, I think it definitely could be interesting. Let me just, I'll Google it right now just to see. Uh, Runaways. Runaways. Season 3. Marvel renewed for, for 10 episodes, season 3. So that could be really interesting to see as to, um, to, see as to where, where things could go with this where, with that. Um, if they've already kind of filmed it, they're already maybe in the middle of filming or the script's already done, maybe they're not going to bring them into season 3. So I think what they could do is maybe end season 3 uh, if, they have, if they're not done finishing it, they're finished. We'll have to wait and see, but maybe they could end the, the, the show with the, kind of them meeting up. That could be really cool to just kind of change in the last episode where they meet up. And then in season four, you have the uh, you have Cloak and Dagger, Tandy and Tyrone joining the Runaways. I think that could be something really interesting to see and that could be quite fun to play with. And it could, could be really cool having the two of them together like that. Um, could be quite an interesting uh, show to, to, to play with. And it could be, especially with Disney owning... Uh, more of all of Hulu now. They can do whatever they want and having a, a big Marvel show like this with the Runaways and these two, you could take the budget of both shows and just merge it together and have them become part of the Runaways and that would be cool. Instead of renewing this for another season, just put them in, in Runaways and give the budget from Runaways, add that budget to the budget of uh, the Cloak and Dagger budget, add it to the Runaways budget and like double that budget and that would be awesome and you can have them using their powers a lot more and it'd be really interesting to see them uh, teaming up with the Runaways, seeing the different characters, you know, using each other's, uh, using their powers, you know, um, or at least ha seeing them team up and using, you know, Alex's smart and smartness, you know, his intelligence to use, how would he use their powers type thing or things like that, you know, and coming up to becoming a team, um, I think it could be something really interesting to see as to where things go. Now that Marvel doesn't have the Netflix anymore, the the, uh, the Netflix deal has, has been scrapped. So I think this could be something interesting to kind of take it, take that place uh, for now. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go. Fingers crossed for the Runaways crossover at some point. But uh, at this point, it's just all in limbo. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.